I'm a 3D artist and I've been going crazy over liminal spaces recently. They're those strange images found online that give you a sense of nostalgia, isolation, and uneasiness. And today, I'm going to try and create my own unsettling liminal space in 3D. If you like what you see, consider subscribing, make it to the end of the video to see the final animation, and you might even find a secret found footage recording. First, let's define liminal space. It refers to a place of transition, maybe between time, the often familiar yet empty, nostalgic yet eerie. Think of hallways, closed public spaces, and neglected attractions. The liminal features are often associated with the structures in these images, and with the power of 3D, I'll be able to emphasize those features even further. This has become a bit popularized if you've ever seen the unsettling videos of the back rooms and pool rooms made in 3D. As for what I want to make, how about the idea of finding yourself inside a dark school hallway, alone in the middle of the night, somewhere you're familiar with, but also where you're not supposed to be. The place would feel frozen and liminal, so let's do it. I want to start with some reference, so I found these pictures online that together gave me that liminal feeling I was searching for. Then, in the 3D software Blender, I'm going to start by laying out the basics. I'll add in my floors and put on this vintage tile design that I think might be nostalgic for early schoolgoers. I also put in a motto as reference for scale when building. Then, I think I'll go for the classic office texture for my ceiling. I also like the white brick walls on some of these schools, so I quickly modeled some cubes and put in this brick wall texture I found. Now for the fun stuff. It's time to light the scene to really capture that unsettling feeling. I like the contrasting and alternate blue lighting from the reference, so I'm going to use that idea and light up our hallways and sections. I'll do that by adding area lights at relative distance, creating mysterious shadow in between. Then I'll make a quick light ceiling and give it realistic glow. Maybe check out my previous video all about realistic glow in Blender. Now for something that's going to feel extremely nostalgic, the school lockers. I did a bit of searching and I found this free model online that I think looked pretty good and I just started pasting this everywhere and also refining the material a bit. Now I'll just add basic structure details like carving out the walls, putting in doors, I'll also double the corridor's length and seal it off with a very far doorway. Now for some final touches. I want to add more realism to the lighting so I'll actually add in a noise modifier to the closest light and that gives me some really nice flicker. I also added some volumetric fog to give the liminal hallway some depth. And just like that, our hallway is looking pretty finished. That's how easy it is to work in 3D. Now, of course, we can easily pump in a little bit more effort. We could set up a looming camera gazing at the unknown. And as you can see, we can get a pretty liminal result. I thought that was pretty cool. I have a lot more liminal space ideas and I would love to make this some sort of continued series. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and I'll see you all in the next video.